The European Union has a transformative power that has proven its efficiency already uh, over the years in, Euro in Central Europe, in uh, Southern Europe. And therefore, looking at these examples, Ukrainians do know that by transforming their country by European standards is actually going to bring prosperity, rule of law, democracy and freedom to Ukraine. And that's why it's appealing for Euro Ukrainians. The EU with Ukraine and the EU without Ukraine are totally different entities. The EU with Ukraine would be a, uh, having a new prospect, the possibility to grow, the new additional huge market and the possibility to be, uh, to be more um, efficient in the whole world and in ensuring peace worldwide. While without Ukraine, the EU could be um, short-lived and actually incomplete project, European project. Therefore, I'm sure that with Ukraine, the EU is only going to be stronger. The EU is faced by quite a few challenges already, with uh, starting from the decision of uh, UK to leave the EU, uh, migration crisis, Euroscepticism, nationalism that is growing in Europe, and obviously um, the uh, problems that we have right now in Ukraine with regard to Russian aggression are um, creating maybe concern, uh, to put it very mild, in Europe. Uh, and therefore, I think that quite a few European countries are trying to be uh, self-diluted in uh, trying to pretend that it's not a European problem and not their problem to, to solve. Uh, but we have to solve that together and then we can uh, look in the future with much more... Um, and then we can look in the future with uh, much more assurance uh, in our, pers uh, in our um, success. I think it's in our common interest, in Ukraine's and European Union's interest, to have a strong partnership, to have integration and to become one. And only then um, you, uh, the, the European Union will preserve its um, stance as a giant, as opposed as a Gulliver, as opposed to being cut in, in, in tens of Lilliputs.